Hello, hello, welcome back. If you have been a long viewer of this channel, you already know that I'm not a big fan of crypto coins. And I have talked about them, pretty much treating them as the tulips of uh, this century. It's um, a, a vehicle, it's a machine that allows people to trade money and that's all it is. It doesn't have uh, any reason to be around, it's not used for anything, it's just something that people trade. And uh, when, uh, you know, when there is a, a massive sentiment towards it, then people are going to be trading it. When there is no sentiment around it, then people are just going to avoid it and not talk about it and it will keep going down. So we're going to be looking at these highs and lows where people are actually trading and where people are actually completely avoiding the thing. The problem is that crypto coins have no, uh, have no real activity. I mean, they are not really used in an economy. They are just there so that uh, people can, again, spend money, buy a lottery ticket, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, they can sell it at a higher price to somebody else. That's, uh, that's exactly how it works. This is not even close to a, actually buying a company, buying a stock, uh, for example, like uh, Facebook, because Facebook is making tons of money. So when you are actually buying Facebook, you are buying the cash flow of Facebook. But you know, when you are buying Bitcoin, you are just buying uh, thin air. I don't know. Maybe, maybe at some point it's going to have some utility, but I just failed to see it. We'll see. But um, uh, the thing is, we're going to be talking about Coinbase in this video. And Coinbase had its earnings report. You can see here that um, I have opened up a news article so that we can examine what happened. Revenue drops 27% uh, from a year ago, as you would kind of expect, because uh, nobody's talking about crypto anymore. It's, uh, you know, it's been going sideways and much lower, actually, after... A long time of uh, you know going higher pretty much nobody's talking about it right now it's going down pretty much all this uh, crypto coins especially you know all these uh, new ones that had uh, that were like um, I don't know like a hundred hundreds of those uh, new ones every day are going down and down and down so here's what happened with coinbase so Coinbase reported the first quarter earnings, missed analyst estimates, uh, shares fell as, a, as much as 19% in extended trading, and now it's 14%, uh, I think it's actually even less right now, we'll examine it. Loss per share 1.98 um, and 1.17 billion versus 1.48. So you see that activity in the platform has actually gone down. Gone down. Now the good thing about Coinbase is that it's not really a coin itself. The problem is that it's actually its business is all about trading and it's about trading coins and so if there is no activity the problem is that the company is going to be doing worse and worse so we really this company really really needs uh, all these crypto coins to flourish and um, otherwise they have no business pretty much now overall usage declined from the fourth quarter you can kind of see again that uh, transactions have fallen and this is the bread and butter of a company like coinbase so revenue dropped uh, quite some 27% and they reported a net loss of 430 million in the first quarter. Now, we still want to examine uh, the company and take a look at the stock because when something is massively low and we can get it at a, at a great bargain price, it just may be worthwhile to buy it sort of like as a potentially cyclical play when it can give us, when it can become a multi bagger for us in case it actually goes higher. Now, these kinds of companies, of course, are super risky. They have this, um, uh, the fact, this fact that they are trading around uh, crypto, which, as I mentioned earlier, is a lot, of, a lot about speculation. And so if you are entering this one, it's probably a good idea to hold it for sort of like a swing trade, maybe hold it for a few months or so, expect for the market to return to a little bit of its normalcy in terms of crypto, and then maybe you know, capitalize on these gains quickly. Now, the reason why I'm taking a look at this one is, of course, also a subscriber suggested company, and it's also down 80%. And right now it's going to be down about 15% after hours. So we're getting a value near 62 over here, it looks like. And again, if we can snatch a little bit and maybe, maybe call it a trade, that would be interesting. I wouldn't buy this company for the long term, like I wouldn't buy it for the next 10 years, but maybe I would buy just a little bit for the next two years or three years and try to get it, uh, try to get like a 3x or 4x, like a multi bargain or a trade pretty much of some sort. That would be my play here. It wouldn't be a long term investment because, again, I don't really believe in the business model. I'm not a huge fan of crypto and I have trouble holding these kinds of companies that are trading speculation. Unless we're talking about a trade, as I mentioned, like a swing trade, for example, which is the case here. 
And now the interesting thing about this company, P ratio very low, price to free cash flow ratio very low as well. Uh, a little bit of issuance of common of common shares of outstanding shares. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a little bit too much too much than what we would like to get, but okay. Uh, this can be compensated by the, by the value of the stock. Uh, revenue growth that has been increasing yet it's gonna go down right now and uh, all these values are going down with the newest report uh, as you can understand so they will be affected in the next quarters and uh, with the new reports coming in the tool coming in for the tool and um, yeah the returns have been great so far for the company i get again this will be suppressed but i want to take a little bit of a look at the stock evaluation tool just to see what we can work with over here. Now, of course, the revenue growth of the company has been tremendous while the company has been growing since uh, they have been achieving growth uh, because of the platform having more, more, more and more trades. In this case, I actually want to try to go low and actually I will try to go very negative too. So I will try minus 10% to begin with, then zero and then 10. So just say that this uh, situation is going to reverse. But I also want to have a negative revenue growth and see how that affects the whole situation Two, net income margins that, um, let's just say that are getting a little bit suppressed, uh, 15, 17, and 19 here. And free cash flow margins, they have, they have been tremendous. Again, I'm going to go much, much lower, something that's more down to earth. And an annual percent of, an annual return of 13% uh, is what I typically want to make. I should calculate here and let's see what we're getting. Now, you will notice that for a revenue growth that goes down 10%, that's 10% every year, right? So as you can imagine, 10% every year, this means that um, the revenue will substantially go down. And when that happens, we're looking at a low of uh, 32, 32. And again, remember, this is uh, actually revenue growth that gets massively suppressed 10% every year. Zero is more like it. It's probably something that uh, is much, much closer to reality if that happens, that is. I, again, the company has been achieving great revenue growth, but we're expecting them to decline. That's what we're saying here. Uh, if that happens, we are looking at 55. And if we're getting something like 10%, which frankly, it's, it may actually end up being the thing, the actual thing that's going to happen for the company, then we're actually green and we could be buying the company right now. Remember, the current price is not 73. The current price is sitting at about, uh, let, me, let me find it again. Because after hours, we are down $11, so the current price is 62 so remember that. And so, yeah, uh, this company, as it goes down, and if it goes down a little bit more, as I mentioned, it may be an interesting purchase for, an interesting buy for a swing trade. Just hold it for a little while. I wouldn't buy much. I would buy just a very, very small fraction of a portfolio, really, and I would hold it for a trade. I wouldn't hold it for the long run. And I want to make this clear, this is not a company to hold for the long run because its business model is actually dependent uh, on something that we don't know if it's going to be the thing. And also it has no real um, utility in the actual economy. So it's almost like a hobby, frankly speaking. And so you have to be super, super careful about this, but don't, don't necessarily neglect these kinds of companies if their financials are good because you can play them for a cyclical play for when the market goes back up to its uh, sort of relative normal again. You could potentially make some really good money with this one, uh, playing it as a multi bargain trading it as a multi bargain And so this is why I wanted to make this uh, video. It has also been a subscriber requested as well. And hopefully this can help you get some ideas about Coinbase, uh, how you can potentially play this one for a, for a swing, or even could be a day trade in some situations. And thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And watch this other video that I made earlier in which I'm suggesting five stocks that I would be willing to buy right now in 2020 after the current crash that we had in, in the past week or so. Actually, the past few months, I'd say. But the past week has been terrible. And so, yeah, some companies have actually given, uh, given us some great prices and it may be worth uh, potentially adding to the portfolio. This video can actually tell you more and uh, I'm breaking down why these companies are good purchases. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.